Hi everyone, my name is Andrea. Welcome to the New Earth community. I'm going to be diving to the energies of yourself and your person, what you need to know. Keep in mind that this is a collective. If you individually want to book a reading with me and you like this video, you like this content, uh, you can head on over to my channel, Divine Sis Dream Walker, for more content like this, okay, to get guidance and what you could be doing with you and your person. Um, getting on track, getting into union with self and handling your situation as third party is here. Okay. Um, that's what this community is here for. We do have a Facebook group. You can join. It's free and it's private. The link is down below. Um, yeah. So for my services and the programs, you can head on over to my channel and check that out. All right, guys, follow me for more content. So let's jump into the energies of yourself, your person, and then we'll jump into the initial reading, getting some advice and suggested tools you can be working on, where you're doing the work, or if you're thinking about doing the work, we do have a playlist. Check that out. All right. It's not about music. It's about your purpose. It's about this connection you have with your person and how you are um, learning more about self. That's what we're here to help you with okay you manifesting your wishes and desires so we have two cards that came out for you put this there let's see what your person's energy is we have victim consciousness unleash your creativity all right so guys you may be dealing with this victim mentality uh this comes from People pleasing. This comes from, you know, blaming yourself. Where third party is back, uh, you guys may be, you know, in this spiral of energy of the normality. The normality of saying it's your person's fault or where you may be blaming yourself is self sabotaging. All right. It's like you are not understanding how you think correctly about things because of your perception it has been skewed when it comes to love your feelings are validated so where your feelings you have any sort of negative feelings emotions is for you to transmute that okay because it's not healthy for you and this is stemming from inner wounds from your upbringing with how you were taught or what you perceive about love okay um you should have the twin flame union uh, program and with the sex mastery the master inner child and the money mindset program which these are the things that you should be working on you know uh, getting your monies up you building your legacy you understanding your independence and how you handle money situation um, wanting to be successful you have to reprogram this mindset where is a lack mentality where is a victim mentality where you think that you are already successful okay guys and independent if you're working in your job no you're not right any one of these three big programs i will throw in a twin flame program for free all right these programs are available in payment installments if you're not sure if you're struggling with this victim mentality um you know not trusting yourself or why you may be blaming yourself or blaming your person and lack that ability to say how you feel and feeling stuck you can book an image reading with me all right you need to unleash your creativity this is about you understanding you're very important um, i will show you the cards mm, deceit you lying to yourself your person is lying to themselves you see that the victim are you really playing the victim here? Because this is why your person plays the victim, deceit, right? It's your 3D perception where earthly matters is more of your concern rather than knowing how to validate your own feelings with this third party situation. All right, let's jump into the initial reading. See what's going on here, guys. We got 12 and 31 for you. Three, four, seven. Okay, this is about massive, deep reflection of what's happening, what your person is mirroring to you, 527, right? This is needing a major transformation, guys. This is about a major transformation. 
This is about you and the earthly matters, things that how you perceive you should be doing, right? It's like where you have ideas and you have your own unique ways of doing things, you know that's something that you're wanting to bring into fruition, but you're going to need to bring more of that balance in your life with what you need to sort out with your situation where you may be procrastinating or um, feeling like a victim. This is about your subconscious, right? How you feel. You may be feeling trapped. You may be feeling lonely, rejected. Your person has abandoned you. I'm seeing snakes. This is about dealing with the abuse and sexual abuse. Look, look at the faces under her skirt, right? And look at her. You want to break free from that? This is about you tapping into your creativity, right? Finding your inner strength, your inner willpower. This is about your inside. Going within, right? It's like, stop being, what I'm getting with the robot, stop being a robot to the social norms of what your perception is only. This is about you expanding your awareness, expanding your consciousness, right? It's time for you to step into your power where I see the clocks back there. You want to be free, right? Let's get in that. Oh, look at that. Okay. Yeah, you want to be free, right? Your feelings are validated. Your person feels that with you just because they have third-party situation. Third-party knows about you, but um, your person... Um, now, it's different for everyone. If your person has cheated and gone to someone else, yes, you need to work on how they abandon you and your rejection issues because you attracted that from being abandoned from your upbringing and being rejected, and that's emotional abuse, okay? Um, you know, cheating on you, definitely, you know, that's that will bring up some insecurities. So you don't have to uh, be in this lack mentality that, um, because you didn't know better, you have to blame yourself or blame your person. Just acknowledge it and learn how to confront it where that was an issue. And it's now something that you want to uh, learn how to self-empower yourself about. You want to become more aware of making better choices. Look at it like that. It was a negative. It was messed up. And they didn't choose you. But now you have the ability to have the tools and resources of understanding why that happened and where it stems from, from your upbringing. So you, you can now deal with the situation as an adult, right? This is like now you are the adults. You want to be in control of your life, your happiness. You should know that your feelings, your needs, your wants, it is valued when you start valuing yourself and making better choices. Give me a second. Let me uh, fix the lightning here. Yeah, that should be much better. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's like it's now for um, you both to step up and how you are making better choices and stop playing this victim and lying to yourselves about how you really feel. You know, the two of cups under the ace of cups. This is love you have for each other all right and this was about you having love for yourself to end the people pleasing you know making these careless um choices that does affect you your partner and other people um it's more so for you to become more aware of where you have been in this way of living your life and you haven't been able to be free right because of that victim mentality because you have been lied to and manipulated about many of things growing up when it comes to how you feel your happiness is what you determine happiness is where you want to be fulfilled right where you knew that you were different it was for you to learn what you was experiencing up until now where it is love with someone, you have been uh, going through that abandonment, that fear, that rejection for how long now, which was keeping, which kept you from being your true authentic self, right? You feeling left out in the cold because your person made another choice. You feeling abandoned because he or she didn't value you, right? 
And that's because your parents didn't value you and your experiences and, you know, having that intimate relationship of, you know, I'm the mom, you're the child, I'm going to guide you. But yet they controlled you. They told you what to do. And that was something that stemmed fear in you because of, you know, how they were teaching you, you know, how they taking their beliefs, their traditional ways of religiously thinking that was the way of living, um, you know, going against themselves. This has been from numerous of generations, which has been passed down on to them, which was passed down on to you. And you just know, you just know that you're different. You know that this is not the way your life's supposed to be. You know it's love with you and your person, but they come with so much, so much issues that you're like, why do I have to go through all of this? Why? Because it's about your deep inner soul searching of your happiness and what you choose. Now, as an adult, what you choose, what matters to you. So where you... Uh, felt like your person was being emotionally distant it was more so for you to work on yourself and becoming more aware of the reality that was projected on you that wasn't yours it wasn't yours right you were forced to believe that you being happy was to listen to others to go to that job that you didn't like you know to stay with people that you know you had no emotional connection with people promising you things which you know it wasn't right right where you have been emotionally abused you know people played a victim and trying to uh you know lie to you and you know that it's something off it's like what what's going on you knew better you knew better but this is about you knowing yourself right knowing yourself Where there's light, there will be dark. That's the negatives and the positives. So it's about you balancing out your internal energy of how you feel about things, right? So if your emotions is negative and it's connected to a negative thought or a feeling, you have to change that mindset, that idea, that experience to something more positive, right? Because it will disrupt how you feel creatively When it comes to your happiness, your joy, you know, you being spontaneous about things, um, how you're intimate with people, it throws off your vibration where you just know something's not right. And that's your body way of showing you you are disconnected out of a fear mechanism. So this is about you and your fears, your insecurities that you were being guided to work on to make a choice. When it comes to how your feelings are valued, it is valued. It matters. You need to value it. You need to know you matter. So where your person has emotionally been unavailable for you, it was for you to love yourself. Yes, correct, right? It was for you to understand and have empathy that where your person wants love, right? Wants a relationship, wants to be committed, At the same time, they got their own issues. They had their own issues before you. Third party, right? Third party knows about you. You guys know about third party. So it's like where that's a person and your person has cheated. Okay, they cheated. That's a lesson. I don't want that to happen no more. So we know that's negative. So you turn that into something positive. Give each other space. Have faith and trust that, you know, this is a lesson for you guys to learn. And if so, you can come together and work things out, right? Energy, right? Always moving. You got to be consistent with it because whether you're moving or not, energy is always moving, always, right? That's with money. Money is a frequency, the ebb and flow, right? You learn that in the money mindset. That's about you reprogramming your mindset, how you feel about money. What's your relationship with money? The Twin Flame program also teaches you about your relationship with money, your relationship with your co-workers, your relationship with your kids, with your relationship with uh, family, the beliefs that you have stored within you. You know, it's like how you perceive love. Your partner may not perceive love like that. They may have grown up in a house where um, they saw that a marriage was shit and they don't want a marriage. They just want to be with someone, learn someone. 
for the time being until they actually can commit right you've grown up where your parents they may have not been married so you're like damn my parents missed out on marriage you know i want marriage you have to understand that there's different uh variations of how you and your person perceive love and that's why it was important for you both to choose yourselves right choose yourselves and understand what's love for you third party after the ace of cups right they put that behind them what they're trying to choose is how to manifest, right? They want to manifest love. This is your person wanting to give you this cup. But you know who comes first? You. So this is about you getting into your masculine energy to understand that love for yourself first. You choosing you. That's what your person is doing at this time where they regret their true feelings for you. Um, That's over the lovers. They may... The wrong choice with third party, disappointed, disinterested, unbothered about the third party. Where is it? In the back of them. It's not that it's not going anywhere, but now they're reflecting on, yeah, you know what? I didn't see my person's cup. I fucked up. So now how can I make the correct choices and how I'm, you know, choosing me and choosing this love where I want to share that with my partner, that person you know, how we're figuring things out. I mean, they deceive themselves. And you, your perception, they deceived me. They lied to me. They rejected me. Yeah, they did reject you. They did, right? And that's tough, right? But that was triggering your insecurities for you to understand how you loved yourself, right? Because you did not really feel that love growing up. And it's sad to say, you know, many of us didn't feel that love in our upbringing from our family, we wasn't taught how to self-love. Like, what the hell is that? Self-love. I didn't know anything about that. Got the programs, and I'm learning that I was struggling to speak up for myself. I was doing a lot of people-pleasing, making others happy, afraid to say no. I didn't like to be rejected by anyone, so I wanted people to accept me. And we do things. We do things just to get people and hold on to people so they could like us or love us. No, that's even going to a job, you know, dressing up as your best and being presentable and that you have to, you know, be someone you're not. No, you be yourself when you show up at a job. And if they don't accept you, then they don't accept you. That wasn't for you. Rejected. Okay, great. That was not for me then, right? So something else may be for me. So with this third party has come into you and your person's reality, it was for you to become more aware of your insecurities and fears and how you're addressing them now, right? Because your perception of love was throwing your energy off because of the third party. I'm trying to tell my person what to do. I'm trying to, you know, get them to let them know that we got this relationship and they need to stop doing this to me, stop hurting me and stop, you know, lying to me. They could talk to me. If they can talk to you, if they can talk to you, then it wouldn't be this you two breaking up. But first, you need to know that you are not their therapist, okay? You both have triggers because you have third party, which you had a life before this situation with you and your person. Some of you currently have experience where your person has cheated on you, okay? Some of you have experience where they work long hours and had affairs. Some of you have experience where they will choose their job because they are afraid of not being um, you know, financially stable, being financially secure. Some of them have chosen not to speak to you and ghost you because they go with their family. So what is your third party? That's where I can read you individually with the image reading. What is your third party? It's bits and pieces, things that you need to work on here, right? This is about your life. This is about your life and what you're choosing. Ace of cups over the two of cups. This is the community to help you to understand why the third party is there. You don't need to avoid it. You don't need to run away from it. Your person, they're not happy. They were dissatisfied and they know they messed up. So what they're doing now, choosing themselves. They want to be emotionally fulfilled and they want to have that connection, that bond emotionally with you. So, you know, where they have walked away it's a lesson, a lesson they're learning. 
and it's a lesson for you with what you're understanding here. Gemini is connected to Mercury, right? What you're understanding, Neur neuralistics, you need to reprogram the mind. Reprogram the mind. Stop looking with your eyeballs. This is about you going within, right? Learn about money and learn about the universal laws because that is what we thrive off of, energy, frequency, vibes, right? The Kabbalah helps you to understand that because this is about higher consciousness, higher levels where the universe is showing you why you and your person have this amazing love bond. This is about your abandonment issues growing up where you have suffered from that. Your parents abandoning you, working a lot, you seen them fight, you seen them argue, you seen them stay in unhealthy relationships just to make ends meet. They wasn't happy individually. One parent was divorced, the other one is sleeping around with others and you're being subjected to all of this shit which it has nothing to do with you but it's affecting you. It's affecting you because your parents is not being consciously aware of the choices that they make because of their upbringing and their belief system. This is why you have this deep love bond with this person where you feel like it's hopeless. It's hopeless. You felt hopeless growing up. It was no hope for the world. It was hope, no hope for people to change and how they treat each other. It was no hope for, you know, society to uh, actually come together as a nation and we help each other. That's you. That's your calling. That's your purpose. Humanitarians. I couldn't understand none of this. This was all a new language to me until I got the programs. Until I got the programs to reprogram my mindset, right? Because it was set to think another way. It was set to one way. I was having trouble with the relationships that I've had. Cancer, right? My emotions where I was getting triggered a lot. Uh, you know, it was it was always a, a negative feeling. It was always a negative feeling. I didn't even know how I felt at times. You know, and this is happening in the subconscious, right? Can't you see it looked like a brain? But you too. You too, from inner wounds, inner wounds, you're here to learn about that with each other. So yes, you have third party, right? Third party knows about you and third party knows that your person has walked away from them because they love someone else. And that's the thing, you know, energy is always moving. Things constantly change because their feelings for that person has changed. Their feelings for that job has changed. Their feelings for staying with mom and dad and they don't want to do things their way have changed. They want to be stable. They want to be independent. And that's what they are trying to work on here, right? As well as you, as well as you. Knowing that they have third party, you now need to choose yourself and do what's best for you. And have compassion and empathy for yourself and your person. If you don't know how to do that, that's where you learn how to self-advocate for yourself with the programs. Doing this yourself. You do it yourself. You heal yourself. Right? All this healing, this healing. Listen, this is about you evolving. This is about you learning. This is about knowledge. This is about wisdom. And it comes with experience. And if you're not doing that for yourself, what you're doing is people pleasing. What you're doing is neglecting yourself. And this is you abandoning your inner child that really needs you the most. Where you wanted someone to be a, a role model for you. This is you where you can now look up to yourself as an adult and start being accountable for your actions. Because every action has a consequence. Third party. So your person regrets not telling you their true feelings. They feel like shit, right? And this is where you don't want to have any past regrets. So you need to deal with your regrets now. And that is what you have been holding on to. It's time to release it. It's time to let it go and stop playing the victim. Stop playing the victim. It's time for you to step more into your creativity. Unleash it. Unleash it. Your inner self and who you are. And I don't mean you guys go out there and doing art, doing, uh, you know, Reiki and putting a crystal in your foot. No, that's not it. That's not what I'm talking about. That's not what I'm talking about. You're much more than that. You're much more than that, but you have to believe in yourself. Me experiencing the third party, I wasn't really happy. Then I have this connection with my person. I'm like, when I hear the third party, oh my God, what is it? 
It's your past regrets. You know, these are lessons. It's about love. Lessons is about love here. That's what it's all about. And knowing that you love different from your partner and you both can learn how to love yourselves and each other together. Together, right? So at the moment, your person over there doing what he or she needs to do, you should be doing what you need to do. Uh, yeah, and I stop, stop being the victim. You got work to do here. Let's uh, clarify this um, Eight of Cups. The moon, yeah, so this is about where things are uh, negative, right? It's like now you make a choice. What you're going to do? Keep going in this cycle of you blaming your person and walking away from them, telling them what to do, trying to still control them, or are you going to take accountability and make the right choice? Tower. They're having tower moments. And for you, this is about coming out of the ego. Ego. They got third party. I shouldn't be treated like that. I don't deserve that. Yeah. But you know where that's stemming from? Where your parents treated you like that. They didn't have time for you. So that affected you. And where your person finds other things with third party, whatever that situation is with you and your person, they find that more important. Right? And you're like, well, they see that that's more important. Your parents has been emotionally unavailable for you. They did not make the right choices, which led you not to make the right choices when it came to love. Right? And this is why you want something external outside of you. You are enough. You are enough. Right? And you need to know that. And that's what the uh, programs help you to do. So, Tower, major shift needed here. So, it's time for you to shift. If not, seven, seven. Okay, this is about you deeply reflecting, going within to understand your way of love. Period. Massive transformation needed here. All right, codependency issues need to work on that. The seven day intense inner child can help you. All right, um, if you have that, go over it. Go over it. Okay, uh, twin flames are superstars, star seeds, seeds from the stars. Alien light beings on this earth, whether you have lack or victim mentality, right? Sport with riches, it doesn't matter. Inner child healing, be your true self. If you're new and you're just watching, you don't understand the twin flame connection. And that's why your person has that third party. Till you understand how to deal with your third party, your person's third party, because it's not going to where friends, family, you know, where you're trying to transition from a job, where they have children or you have children, you guys are married and you know that that's not the partner that you want to be at, but stay in these toxic relationships and you know your twin flame is waiting. It's like, <laughs> come on, you got to make a choice, right? And the time is now, so stop playing the victim, okay? And your person stop lying to themselves, deceit, right? Look at them. That's how they feel deep down inside. I'm lying to myself where I really want love. I want to be committed. But I know that I'm afraid to, um, you know, face these issues where I do have commitment issues. I have struggled from abuse. And, you know, they got it the hard way because they don't really um, talk to anybody about that. What they do, they, um, it's like the universe finally comes in to show them, listen, listen, right? You already know that you have been messed up and made the wrong choice. It's time for you to stop that nonsense. You don't want to have any more regrets. So you need to deal with it right now. So they need a timeout. You need a timeout. All right. Let go of the ego. Come out of the ego. Is your ego telling you, no, they did this to me. No, they did that to me. Come out of it. You want an image reading? Book me. Okay, that's what you should be doing with this uh, Twin Flames of Superstars here. You're not knowing the contract and you're new. Book me, okay? Um, you can start with the playlist. It's, it's a free playlist for you guys to understand what's really happening here. It's not just getting your person. This is about your passion in life. This is about your purpose, what you're being guided to do. Many of us struggle with codependency because of our parents. You know, these are narcissistic traits where we have been controlled to do things and definitely where we don't have uh, freedom of speech and being who we truly want to be. 
it's some form of control that's happening out here where we are trying to break free from. So if anything is easy for you to actually be with your person, then you're not doing enough. You're not doing enough because this is about your Ten of Cups, you being fulfilled. And I mean, in every aspect of your life where you have balance and you have your person, you're handling your... Um, you know, your, your, your purpose. And it's like your admission doing what you're being got to do as a twin flame, whatever career, uh, you may want to do or what you really are passionate about. You know, um, I say soulmates because soulmates don't have the twin flame connection, right? But these programs are for everyone. No discrimination. You are struggling with something. You can reach out to us. Counseling is definitely needed. All right, because this is about a new emotional start for yourself and where you and your person are dealing with past regrets to end this old cycle of third party. That's why I come back around, right? For you to start over. I wish I could communicate how I feel. It's hard. So if you're finding your person emotionally distant, they're not saying anything to you. They're not communicating. They're not intentionally ignoring you. Okay, they need a time out and you need a time out. The emotionally unavailable program is available for that to know why you have this situation and attracted them. If you want to know about the third party, that program is available. Start from somewhere. If you're new, image reading. Image reading if you don't know what program to start with. That's where you get guidance, guys. It's all my fault. This is the victim mentality. Um, some of you, yeah, you you do feel like, you know, hurt and disappointed and heartbroken. You want to come out of that depression and you're struggling with that. Yes. Okay, guys, this is about you understanding they're not intentionally doing that. You do have this connection for a reason, but don't continue to lie to yourself and blame yourself. You don't have to do that to yourself. And that has to do with the codependency issue where you are wanting and making your person feel make you feel good no they're the external this is about you dealing with your low self-worth inner issues the seven day intense inner child can help you with that you don't know this but you are the reason why i get out of bed every day okay so yeah they they do they 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 chose you right it's hard for you to let go of this um third party and forgive them i understand it right that's the master inner child program that's about you connecting with your inner self, your inner issues and confronting them and dealing with them. Do not run away from it, right? These programs is going to help you to connect more of the dots of why you believe that you shouldn't forgive and where, you know, your family has taught you. Don't forgive someone that's hurt you, right? You are suffering. Listen, you are suffering, but you have a connection with this person where you have the uh, opportunity to make things right in Help others. Help others see that, listen, that way of thinking is only going to make you feel like a victim. Right? Because when you're hurt, who it affects? You. Right? So you have to learn how to forgive and let it go. Let it go. Because if not, you're holding on to that energy. And when your person come back around, you're ready to start up again. You left me. Let's talk about it. As twin flames, no. That's not it. That's not it, okay? So, guys, um, if you want to uh, book me for my services or any of the programs, you know, you can reach out to myself, Divine Sis, Dream Walker. Uh, this community is here to help you. Check out the Facebook link down below. It's free and it's private. Myself and Mission and others, we will give you more guidance with collective readings. You get free programs there. Check out the, pl um, the playlist. It's free. You can start with that free. Learn to appreciate where you're getting these free messages. It's free. It's knowledge. It's wisdom for you. It's free. Now it's time for you to accept it, right? Allow and accept what's happening so you can let it go. My name is Andrea, and I hope that this was very beneficial for you guys, and thanks for watching. Bye.